Hello, everybody. How are we all going? Hopefully well. Welcome. Oh, there we go. I found it on. Goodness gracious me. Found it on YouTube. So we're on YouTube and in the Creative Family Book group this morning. Oh, I found it there. I'm just... Okay. I'm just going to get rid of the keyboard. Be nice. Oops, I knocked over Amelia's collection of pictures from her trip. Okay, so this is what we did last night. Um, I'm just writing, welcome to my card making class over on YouTube. So we did a double. I love how it turned out. Look at that. Really, really love how it turned out. And just putting a little bit of pearl paint. So it's not perfect how I put it on but a little bit of pearl just brings it in line with this alpine white and it just makes it a bit more than just flat so it's not just a flat mandala and then we've got this from the back here yeah so I really love how that turned out I've wanted to do a page for a long time where I use lots of different woods from disparate places so this is beautiful family devoted to denim runaway princess tranquility and redwood farm Flowers are from Redwood Farm and the mandalas from Devote to Down. So let's pop that over there. And this is what we have left. So I have a little bit left, but not a lot. But we have a bit left. <clears throat> so, yeah. Oh, 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 I see a leaf. Oh, and I'm, you can hear the chickens outside yakking. So I probably should have cut this beautiful word out. I could have put that on there and done beautiful memories, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. And we have the word time in here somewhere. There we go. Got the word time. Well, later on in June, we have a bigger word of that time. That little time is a bit of a bit of a interesting one to get into packets so we've got some glitter card which is Kaiser champagne and we've got some alpine white like we've got a six by twelve piece I think we're just gonna get one card out of this <clears throat> what could I do mm. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Hmm. I have an idea. Maybe. Maybe I have an idea. Okay, so let's take this 6 by 12 piece and it's inches and cut it down to 8 by 6. So it's 8 inches by 6 inches. Don't have a scribe today. So hello Janice and oh, I don't know what this thing's doing. Hello Janice and Pam. It was a beautiful class, wasn't it, last night, Pam? I really love how it turned out. Hello Tash. Hello Kathy. How are we all? Um, it's Thursday morning. I know we're not going to get a big crowd. That's okay. We can handle it. So let's do... Oh, I 
think it needs a bit of colour. So we do like a three quarter and then we do a So what about we do Okay. Let's cut this bit first. So we've actually got a piece. So I've got this piece of timber from um, Beautiful Family. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten this edge because I know that I hand cut that with scissors. So let's do five and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. And then that'll go look on there. Or there, maybe. And then let's do with this glitter, which is just gorgeous. I love this colour glitter. Let's do a let's make it straight. <laughs> And do a three and a half by five and a half inch piece. So we'll get a nice bit of that brown showing. Like that. But then we only want a tiny bit of the gold showing. So let's cut this white piece to an eighth of an inch short of five and a half. So what's that? That's five and three eighths. So count along three eighths. One, two, three. So five and three eighths by three and three eighths. So it's just an eighth of an inch short of the half mark. And then that goes on there. And then we get a tiny border of the gold, which is just what you need. You just need it to be a little hint. So... What are we going to do? I've got all this timber paper, so we need to use timber paper. We could do something where we do like, and then do like, you know. And do it how I would do it, which is not the proper way, probably. You know, because I don't always do everything the proper way. Um, hello, Karen. I've logged in to hear you think out aloud a concept. Okay. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that last bit. Oh, okay. Would you ever use the bit you cut out from the bottom wood mat as a top mat? Yes. Yes. So you could definitely, like, if I made, and then Pam, I'm going to come back and do the measurements again. Hello, Mary. Um, if I made this white one, like, a quarter of an inch smaller, and we did it, like, three and a quarter by five and a quarter, it could come out of this piece here. And I've done that before. So when I get really desperate, I will actually get, like if I've only got like this much of a piece of paper and that's what someone wants to be the absolute feature on their, you know, wedding card or the birthday card or whatever, whatever I'm making for them, like if they really want that or 
you know, if I really want to use that, I then make, I'll make that outer piece. I'll then um, make this piece. I'll then embellish with it. I'll, do you know what I mean? I'll do lots of things with it if that's what, and, and even if I've only got a small piece. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so um, this card base was 8 inches by 6 inches. So 8 inches by 6 inches. And then we had, from the wood, we had 5 and 3 quarter inches by 3 and 3 quarter inches. Then from the champagne glitter, we had 5 and a half inches by 3 and a half inches. And then from the white, we had five and three eighths, which is an eighth of an inch short of the five and a half by three and three eighths, which is an eighth of an inch short of the three and a half. I hope that makes sense. While we're here, let's cut the middles out. Now, when you're using glitter card as a mat, you really do need to cut the middle out because it's nearly impossible to get a lot good long-term stick to a piece of glitter card. Um, other than using glue. And when it's a big piece like this, you need lots of glue. Like my title last night, I've used Dimensional Magic and I've used a fair bit of it. Jeez, that's a bit wonky. Um, so... And it's small areas, so it's a little easier to work with. But you did see I had to re-stick a couple of places where the glue dried before really sticking down. Oh, yeah, so cut the middle out of that, that there, and that there. Now, normally if I was doing like a wood paneling card base, card, I would actually have all of these that they weren't the stress they were sort of nice and pristine and you know we're not going to do that and we're going to make this random i'm going to do something that's a bit um a bit more random that's a bit of an odd word so this one here i need to straighten the edge because i've hacked that yep i hacked that edge that's a straight edge that's a straight edge this piece doesn't have any distressing on it on this edge. And then that bit we just cut. Let's distress that. Now I'm going to say, can you all be really, really careful? Scammers are getting really prolific in some of the groups around if you see someone you think is a scammer in our group please let me know i'm trying to be really careful but they're getting very sophisticated in how they get into scrapbooking groups they are targeting our industry there is a mob that are doing t-shirts and i don't think you ever receive your t-shirt and there's a mob doing bracelets the photographs of the bracelet are definitely fake so just be warned that there are scammers out there and they are, yes, targeting our industry. So I've got a piece of red here. And then let's have a look what else we've got. I think we need a bit more of the blue. What have we got? We could use something from here. We have more grey. We could make a skinny bit of grey. Or let's make a bit of grey from this bit. And we need some more teal. So let's make another teal bit. So I've got this bit of teal here. And let's just cut it so we get like a half inch piece. Sorry about that. So it's a little different in width to that one. Let's just pre-distress this. Pre-distress. Right. Good terminology. But yes, please be very, very cautious because they are getting pretty um, smart. So let's do just over half an inch with this blue.
very pale piece of the blue, isn't it? But yeah, they are around and it is a scam and they will look like a normal person. Um, but they're not. They are a scammer. And let's do like uh, sort of around the same, just over half an inch piece of the grey. Oh, look, and I've got tape on that. So let's do that. Don't know if it's going to work. Not usually how I do this. So what I would normally do is I would do a fake mat. Okay, I'm going to check the comments. Awesome, Pam. Um, I'm glad I managed to get the right bits to you. What I would do a lot of times when I do this is I would have this piece and then I'd have a slightly bigger piece and then I'd, I'd fake that it was cut nicely. We'll do that in another class, hey. So are we going to do this with little white gaps? Well, let's just peel that bit of dodgy tape off there. There's a dodgy bit of tape. Or are we going to line it up nicely? Mm, like that and then the next one we'll do maybe there there's a home daycare, ne daycare next door and then the next bit will go hmm We go like, I'm just going to fake this. We'll go up to here and we'll do a bit that goes this way here. Down that way. We're not going to have it sort of central. Let's try that. And it's not going to be um, a nice angle. Like it's not going to be a perfect mathematical angle. Let's, let's do that. Let's not make it a piece of perfection. Uh, how are we going to stick this? Can we get tape on a lot of these? Not really. Maybe. Tape will make it easier. Oh, that's got tape on it. But yeah, I've just, um done a warning in another group in an international group this morning that um, it was a scam there was a it's the jewelry scam that one that I noticed this morning so they'll put a picture up and it's actually um, a fake photoshoppy picture they've stolen the image from a jewelry store and then or from somewhere else and then what they do is they um, superimpose a you know a wording that's appropriate to our industry over it and then they say um you know it's not well received in my feed my family don't get it i thought you know i thought you guys might understand me more here look at my new you know look at my new bracelet i got and yeah um, there's another one where the wording is, look at the T-shirt I bought my sister for her birthday. Yeah. So it's always the same wording or very similar wording and it's, um, there's a bracelet one and there's a T-shirt one. Uh, the T-shirt one came to our attention um, two years ago because they tried to hijack our Scrapbook Fantasies um, hashtag. Uh yeah on instagram it's okay there's a store in america that's open that's trying to hijack our name but it's okay not the whole name but just part of it 
we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it pans out. Well, yeah, so these are our pieces of timber we've got. And I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, we need some on here. Let's think anyone selling or running anything in a different group is a scam. In your groups, if you want me to know something was available, it would be a post from you or cute. Yes, yes, yes. But, yeah, if you see something that's a bit untoward or someone's trying to take people to somewhere that you don't think they should be, just let us know. We have had some people try and sell in the group. Uh, had someone try and sell their classes in the group. We've actually had two do that. Um, but there. But yeah, we've um, um, kind of yeah. And if someone from our group, from the group, contacts you on Messenger and you think it's a little untoward can let us know you don't have to let us know who it is but if you think it's a little bit salesy and untoward and they're just using the group to get um, customers for their own business or another business yeah you're welcome to let us know because we've had that happen okay what were we going to start with I think we're going to start with this lovely brown color I love this color and we're just going to whack it there we're just going to be sort of random mama does ed G E S L E D G E S yeah. Edges. Edges. What's that for? Oh, just for some awesome that. Okay. I think you've done enough schoolwork for now. Give your eye a rest. So we've got brown, then red, then we've got grey, and then we're going to put a bit of teal from one of my runaway princess. So this is a really good lesson in what doesn't go together works together. And then, silly me, we're going to need a tiny bit. Let's do a little tiny bit of brown. And is this going to fit on here? So what we're going to do is add a little bit of glue here. And we're just going to stick that there. So we need enough glue and enough stick to itiveness, like holding it there, to get that to stay there. So that little bit doesn't just plop off. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I think Quentin must be busy because he hasn't done any linky things, any pop ups, any like shares in any groups. And it's kind of straight. Um, you do see these, I think the theory is that what you're meant to do is you're meant to draw a special set of lines and you line them up to them and you have gaps and you have it, you know, all fancy schmancy, but you don't have to. Like, we can just be random. Okay. So let's leave that one with a bit of room. And let's just cut these a little bit out. We just want to get our pieces so that we can do the next side. We don't need to be too pedantic right now. So let's do this edge here. And what we're going to have to do is sort of butt this up a bit and use our distressing as our, you know, just going to rough that up a bit more there. And use our distressing so that we scooch it up and we hide the fact that this is not straight. Do you know what I mean? Like we're going to scooch that right up there. Does that cover right to the end? So the thing now is to make sure that we cover right to the end of the cardstock. Right. Oh, and I don't want to use that one next because that's the one I had next to it last time. We want to be a little bit random. And we'll do grey. Then we'll do black. 
brown and that's still a bit of blue but we'll do it down this end down here where it's okay because we want to keep this nice end okay let's set that and let's do do we want to do blue yeah let's do no let's do blue down here somewhere let's do brown first and then we'll do red And then we'll do a bit of grey, but we have to stick this bit of grey on here. So let's snip this first, snip a piece and put some glue on here. So it doesn't have to be a mathematical rocket science project to do something like this and we're just using our leftovers from our class last night sorry that's my stomach making noises I think we're coming on a bit let's do oh we got our distressed end there let's do gray and yep gray's next to each other that's okay and then let's do teal Then we'll do blue. There's a distressed bit. Oh, that's a bit wide. Let's do red. We don't want wide, wide, wide. Then we'll do a wide one here. And then we'll do brown. So let's trim this end off nice. So we can distress it. It's not perfect, but distressing actually hides the imperfections. Funny. Hello, Debbie. How are you? How's that? It's stuck. That one's stuck. So these are our two glued ones, our little tiny scrappy bits. Rightio. You could use this to make panels to go on a scrapbook page. You could make a whole scrapbook page doing this. That would be really cool. Really, really cool, I think. So then let's cut on the lines. And we flipped it over and we're just using that outside edge as our straight line and making sure the scissors are sort of not on an angle. They're upright against the edge so we don't see any of the white on the front. Noah is not at school today. Noah is on a um, invitation only STEM excursion for um, 
really um yeah smart kids um so it is so science technology engineering and math uh, i'm a little concerned he is a little concerned because our um city is very much industry based and it's very much about you know coal and gas um so one of the businesses they're visiting is the port where they export coal and they're starting the day at a gas company, um, Australian LNG. But I'm hoping that they do make an attempt not to neglect the science. Sometimes they neglect the science part of these things. I hope they they do um, meet the needs of the science kids because Noah is very much science. He doesn't want to be an engineer. He's smart enough to be an engineer, but he doesn't want to be an engineer. He wants to do something in the science field or creative field. So there we go. Look at that. Let's do a test drive. Oh, I like that. Now, I fluffed around with it that much. I have no idea what I'm going to do with the rest of it. I like making backgrounds and making things. I like that. I do love that. It's got the word time. It's all flowers, but I just don't. I, I want to make it masculine, I think. I think I'm wanting to make it masculine. I think it needs to be masculine. That would fit on there. Right, so let's get this piece of timber. I'm going to tell you how big it is. So it is going to be... Mm. So it's just under an inch and a half wide. By... Three inches long. So it's just short of an inch and a half by three inches. And I think if we fold it, we'll make a flaggy thing out of it. We'll see how that looks. I probably need to go to the shed at some stage and get WD-40 for this trimmer. Put that there. So we've got this stringy stuff. This is good for stitching with too, hey. And um, mm, I was going to put it online, but you know what? I've kind of only been putting in kits so what we're going to do is we're going to pull it apart so i've only been putting this tiny stuff um goes with cottage garden actually i bought a heap of colors just for cottage garden no. is one bit oh well, one bit might be enough oh dear I think there's a kid window next door sorry I love children most of my own but... I don't like it when kids cry it upsets me they cry for a reason. Oh, yeah. So, oh, I've got beads going everywhere. What if we, I'm just going to tidy this up a bit. Oh, 
I should get a dodgy one. That was just a bit of one. Uh, what have we colored this? What do we think? Time, and it needs something else. Let me do it this way. Okay, I'm going to distress. I've got a piece of blue here, and it is just under an inch wide. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it back the other way because I've got no tape on it. Okay. So then I've got a bit of red and it is like half an inch, just over half an inch wide. And then and the top's crooked, so we're gonna give it a good distress at the top. Something like that. We need to sort of put a little bit of colour on this time. Mm. Well, maybe not. Or maybe if we do what we did last time and just put a bit of pearl onto it. Mm. Maybe I'll stick it together and then have a look. Okay. So what we might do is stick these two together. The piece we made and the glitter card. And then we'll put them up on foam on that other bit. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Oh, okay. I'm going back. I've missed comments. Um, you're reading my mind. Oh, wow. Okay. It's a stunning background base. Okay. It's definitely math. Could you use a darker brown heart cut back of the wood paper to keep it mask and keep it masculine? Mm, yeah, I could actually. The, the white is nice. Yes, Diane. I think the white is a bit of a the more I think about colouring it, the more I sort of go, oh, I just don't, I don't know. But we could definitely find where that middle bit was. Look at the mess I've got. Maybe we need to tidy up a bit. As I'm adding strips of backing. Oh, there it is over there. Strips of backing to the pile. So I'm going to stick this on here. Then I'm going to get some foam, which is nearly gone. It gets very messy because it's a small space. But then, so making sure when we put our photo foam on that we straddle between the glitter card and the cardstock. Otherwise, it will let go. Um, yeah, because it's such a small space, it does get very messy very easily. But then 
it's quite easy to clean up because um, it's such a small space and there's not much in it. I don't have a lot of stuff stuff. Okay. Let's do ourselves a bit of a photo. I'm just going to pile these up but not really stick them because I've got no backing on them. I'm just going to move all this. So we're not probably going to use that frame at this point in time. I need to clean up. That's feeling better already. That's usable. That's usable. So, if I was making a card like this, I would make two. It's the kind of card where you make two at a time. Let's fold our card base in half. And like the now rounded edges. So one of these edges here is always shorter, and that's the one I make the back. And I make the back one just not quite me. It's like a quarter of a millimetre short of the front. Um, I don't know why I do it. I just do it. It's something I started doing years and years ago. Um, I don't know. I don't think anyone else does it. People look at me strange and say I do that. But why I do it is that the front, I overthink things. So when you grab a card, because the front's just a, a, like a quarter of a third of a, or third of a millimetre longer, it's easy to grab it. Yeah. It does really stand out, doesn't it? So. Let's. It's going to stick more to the messy mark. I probably should have got Amelia to turn down the TV. She has marked her calendar next to Quentin's desk when um, the new season of Bluey starts. Don't know if she's going to get to watch the new season of Bluey. But, um, yeah, she's marked it on the calendar when the new season of Bluey starts. She does love Bluey. Boy's dad's a bit dodgy like her dad. Milton actually met um, the guy that started Bluey at a young um, uh, creative sort of thing at a when he was at uni and he was also working in radio at the same time because he studied radio and television and marketing at uni um, he was um, yeah it was like a conferency type meetup type thing um milton because of his work hadn't been to didn't go to all the days but he did he did meet um the guy that started bluey and the other people from their team so 
so obviously because we've made an effort to make sure that our foam tape sort of straddles the join between the glitter card and the cardstock it's not necessarily connecting to our um, brown bit but that's okay because what's going to happen is it will see the brown is stuck down and then the foam sticks to the background oh i like that Right oh, yeah. So let's get our stringy stuff. It's just plopping it there. I do put the ends in so the ends kind of get stuck. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a tiny bit of glue to our bits that we stick on over the stringy stuff just so it really holds through the stringy stuff. Very technical, there I am, sort of straightish. I try not to have the tip of a V on a line on another bit of the um, another flag thing. I'm just going to stick it on and then I think we'll have a look and see if a heart is going to still look masculine. I think if we put a heart on and distress it, it might. Now I didn't distress the very base. A bit funny like that. I probably could have or should have but I didn't and I think it looks okay and I probably could have put these up on foam could I still? Yep. Let's put this on foam. I think it'll look better. The glue kind of gave us that little bit of leeway to be able to do that as well. Put that there for later. Bit of glue on here because we're sticking through stringy stuff and we've already ripped this off before and then try and cover where we were where we had a bit of glue we've got a tiny dot of glue just there that's dry do I see I'm just gonna put use it to stick I'm going to stick a bit of string over it. Yep. We just had a little bit of dimensional magic ooze out there. So, dimensional magic drives glossy. So, I do try and get rid of it where it oozes out because then you get a glossiness. If you don't. Ah, oh, put that there. Half. This is the middle out of our background. Mm. I think we'll cut this one out. It's the darkest one we've got.
There we go. And then let's distress that, I think. I've got a bit left. I do like this brown colour from Beautiful Family. I, I do think it's a lovely colour. Uh, what are we using next week? Hmm. Next week we are using Tropicana. Oh, and look, there's heaps of sequins in there. That's that piece of glitter card. Yeah. So, let me have a look. Oh, I'm thinking about this art. Okay. I've got two bits of this. We can make a double. Look at that. I'm just committed to making a double page next week. I hope people like double pages. Well, you get more scrapbooked if you do doubles. Oh, that bit of a M is not stuck down. So what I could do is I could tuck that in there and have that sitting over the top. Does it still look masculine? Well, that's not bad. No. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to cut just inside that line, that cream line. I'm just going to cut just inside it to make it slightly smaller. I think it needs to be smaller. And then I'm going to distress it again. So distressing, remember, does hide dodginess. Yep. Now I'm thinking about what I could do next week. And I can't do that because if I overthink it, then, yep, it's overthought. I like that better. And if we stick it so that it goes just under the M a little bit, like that. But over the I. Looks sort of a bit more integrated, doesn't it, then? Let's put some glue on that. Or do I put it here on foam? Well, let's try it. There, I like there. I don't know why. Look at that. I like that. Good use of scraps. Like these strips I think because the theme is the same rather than what I've done before with random strips yeah yeah so they're all timber papers um and I think that works well that they're all timber Ooh, that's gonna be exciting next week I can't wait um yeah I think sometimes when they do this sort of parquetry thing they do it with them um, I think when I've done it before is I made pattern papers made my own with stamping and inking and then I it was a class hello Lorraine oh that's okay yep Thursday's a bit out of the ordinary 
Got a word on the heart. Yeah, I could. Yeah, if you were naughty, you could get, you know, a word from this. This is that tranquility paper. Tranquility number four. Like you could put a little word. Freedom more. Relax. Relax. Time to relax. Very rustic, yes. These words are great. Oh, you wait till you see what I've made. So this is called handy paper. It's versatile and you've got a million words on this. This is a two and a half inch strip. It's got tons of words on it. Handy paper, as far as it goes, in out and about, there is a really, truly handy paper that'll go with everything like that one does. I can't wait to use it. I'm just dying to get my hands on it and it's just taking so long to get here. Thank you. Thank you, Karen and Tash. Thank you, Pam, Diane, Janice. We're above time. Yeah, yeah. Relax time. Create time. Yes, if you're giving someone a, you know, if you're writing a, um, a stern word about um, creating time for themselves, you can put in it. Um, but, yeah, there's a nice masculine card. I wonder. I do have. Mm, was that a bit feminine? This one. Check. Universal symbol for scissors, that is. Snip, snip. So I'm just cutting like a, just over eighth of an inch. I'm just going to cut a little square of I'll just cut a little square it's just bigger than an eighth of an inch of the glitter card I don't know. what do you think yeah you could create different color things Always, Kathy. I think it needs that. I'm going to put it there. I'll regret it later. It does need something just there. doesn't need more than one. Yep. So this is just like they're just 
bigger than an eighth of an inch squares of the um, glitter card. Okay. Just to frame it. There we go. There you go. Pam sung Christmas cards using this tan technique. I like that. I like it. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Debbie. So there we go. We've made a card and a page. And we've got a bit left over. We'll probably make a couple more card fronts at least. There we go. It's got a page and we've got a card. Not sitting flat. I've got to clean up after this. So, yeah. I think my little friend and I are heading into the jazz this afternoon because she's got to be measured up for a costume. Yeehaw, costumes. But, yeah, so thank you very much for coming along. Um, take care. Stay safe. Um, yep, spread the word. Um, we appreciate you all. And, um, yeah, thank you for um, hanging out with our little family family business and our you know our craftiness i don't know why that's sitting up i think because i've just had this sitting over on my diary and it was up there but yeah so we'll see you um i love the pages i couldn't watch all of it because i was watching the grandchildren last night yeah debbie you've got to get yeah you can watch the video anytime but your grandies no you've got to watch your grandies when you got your grandies <laughs> Um, yeah, but you can watch the video anytime. That's the thing. Um, I will. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie. And thank you, everyone. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. We're going to do a framed um, gift idea with Imagine with Alice. And um, I'm sure you're going to like it. I can't wait. It's very exciting. So see you then. Take care. Bye.